Hello, so today I'm going to a Nikki Beach theme party. So I'm going to get ready and show you what I'm gonna do to get ready. Okay, so I'm just going to start with some chapstick since my lips are all chapped. I'm using this bag bomb. My mom got it for Christmas. Madeline Klein used it in her Vogue Get Ready With Me and it smells awful, but it's good. So, so next I'm going to prime. Um, I'm using this Glam Glow Primer. It's normally like 50 bucks, but I always get the free trial sizes. Um, and I like it because it's illuminating and it's a moisturizer, so it's going to make me look really glowy. Um, I'm also going to put this on my neck and chest area so it's very glowy because that's always fun. Um, so next I'm just going to put my eyelashes. I like starting with this so that by the time I do put on the mascara, they like stay um because i have pin straight lashes so just i usually curl the tips the middle and then the very root um so next step is to go in with some concealer just under my eyes i'm going very light today because again i don't know if i'm going in the pool and i don't want to go crazy um I did fake tan yesterday, so I don't really have a concealer that fits my color exactly, so I'm going to mix like four together. Um, and I'm also in a phase where I just use my fingers for everything, and I really like how it turns out. So I'll show you how I do that. One of my favorite concealers right now, which I think is super underrated, is this MAC Studio Fix. It's the 24 hour. Uh, it's like a yearish old, it's kind of new. So I'm just gonna mix these three together. I have the MAC Studio Fix in two colors and then this Smash <laughs> This Smashbox one, which is good, but it's just a little light for me. So I'm literally just gonna mix them all because these have great coverage and this is a good color to neutralize them because these are really pink. Here's my little concoction gonna rub them all together I'm actually it might be a little light for me but we'll just go with it oh and I'm just gonna dab it all on my finger it's my favorite way as I was saying to apply and then I'm also gonna put this on my eyelid because it's gonna act as a primer for the eyeshadow I'm gonna put on I am going to cover these little breakouts I have on my chin with the darkest of the concealers just because it blends in more I try my skin tone down there. But honestly, the fake tan kind of made those less obvious, so cool. So then the only thing I really use a brush for nowadays is setting my concealer. And I also don't use that much setting powder because I hate flashback, so I'm using... Laura Mercier translucent powder. Um, I'm like almost out of this stuff. And my favorite Kat Von D brush. And I'm just gonna like tap it and press it into my skin. I like more cream products than matte because it looks more I don't know, fun for the summer. This is my like favorite product in the entire world. I only really started using, I've had it for like years and I only really started using it this past year, um, but it's so good for the summer. It's the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Sheer Sun and it's a liquid bronzer and again usually I use a beauty blender but I have not been enjoying that recently. So I'm just going to put some on my hand, which I do, this is what I do for everything and a little goes a very long way. So I'm just going to take a tiny bit on my finger and put it on the hollows of my cheek. I really like the way it looks and it's like such a good shade because it's not too warm and it's not too cool. I always put that in like the hollows and then I sometimes bring it around my forehead a little bit but I don't like contouring my forehead because I have a tiny forehead so I don't want to make that any smaller. And then I'm, sometimes I just take it around the neck 
with the leftover that I have. And then what I've been doing recently with like the little leftovers that I have on my finger, which is new for me. Sometimes I put it a little bit on my nose. Again, I be, I'm very careful with my nose because I get blackheads so easy there from my clogged pores. So a little bit on my nose and then this is what I've been doing that's new. Instead of like bronzing, using my bronzer as like the eyeshadow on the outer corner, I've been using this, which might not make sense this time because I'm like gonna do more eyeshadow, I think. Haven't decided yet. But I'm just gonna like put this down kind of as a base. I'm going to put it just like on the outer corner. It's super light. It's really just like adds some depth and shadow and it probably like it's fairly noticeable, but it's just like what I do with the excess really. Okay, so now I'm going to get started on the eyeshadow. I think I'm going to do Supernatural, so I'm going to keep this kind of light on the corners and just do a really sheer wash of sparkles in the middle. And then I think I'm going to try to do a little bit of like a dark brown eyeliner and like a tiny wing because I don't really know how to do a wing. So I think I'm going to use my fav one of my favorite palettes, the Too Faced Semi Sweet Chocolate Bar Palette. Um, because this shade butter pecan, it's like super, it's exactly what I'm looking for for the inner corner. I'm going to take a fluffy brush and I'm first actually going to start with a color mousse, this one. I'm going to mix with peanut butter, peanut butter. And I'm going to just go over what I just did with the liquid bronzer because it needs some more definition. Um, so again, yeah, I'm just going to keep that on the outer corner. Um, and just like have the wash of color. I'm gonna do the same on the other side and just keep it super light. I want it to be very natural. Um, I like these shadows because they're definitely very pigmented and they smell incredible. I've had this for like a few years and it still smells incredible. So next, I'm just gonna take my finger with the butter pecan that I showed you and I'm gonna just tap it on the inner part of my eye. And then I'm going to take that brush again and kind of blend those two together. I don't want to completely go over the sparkles because I don't want to take away the sheen, but I definitely want to blend those together so it's more natural. Okay, and then I'm going to take an angled brush. <laughs> this is pink on it for my last thing, but we're just going to go with it. And then my like favorite color ever to do wing stuff like this, this put in and then there's also truffled but truffled's like a little too warm i think i'm gonna do put in because it's more cool tone and dark and i'm just gonna do a really thin line along the lash line and then again just like scoop it up a little bit we'll see how this goes <laughs> the other eye off camera so now we're gonna move back onto the face um so we did the bronzer next is blush and i'm using my favorite glossier liquid blush this is in the shade beam and it's very pinky so very good for daytime and again a little goes a very long way take my finger again dab it off a little on my hand because it's super pigmented and i'm just gonna put it on the balls of my cheeks um and I'm obsessed with blush. This is a new development, but I think it just looks so pretty in sun kiss, especially for the summer. Cool. I'm gonna do my highlighter. So this is also glossy. It's called the Haloscope in Quartz. One of my favorites. It's so natural, and especially it's good for the sun because it doesn't really show as much other like it just really glistens off the sun so when the sun hits your face it's like whoosh. um it's just very very natural so i really like it and i always take with my finger just kind of swirl it around there so i just put this on the high points of my cheek and then my favorite way to put on highlighter which i feel like not many people do is i always loop it around to the side of my face because naturally when the sun does hit your face it doesn't just like shine here it <laughs> shines here in like a little c I'm going to use this liquid highlighter by Becca. It's in the shade Moonstone. I've had it for so long, I feel like I never used it and it was very expensive. So 
It's kind of intense. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. It's also a heavy since so long. It's a little dry, but it's a good color for my skin tone. It's kind of like a yellowy shimmer. I'll never forget going to a Friday freshman year, and I like so clearly saw this girl's highlighter right here, and like it literally looked like two streaks. And maybe other people didn't notice it because like they didn't know what to look for, but. It kind of made me very scared to highlight that part of my body because I don't want to look like that, but I feel like mine looks more blotted in than hers. <laughs> I'm going to do mascara, and again, since I think I might go on a flight, I don't know, I'm going to do waterproof. It also keeps the curl, curl much longer. So this is the Lash Sensational by Maybelline. Honestly, I decided the best mascara is just <laughs> drugstore mascara, especially the waterproof ones. There's like no difference and it's cheaper, and I use the best makeup remover it's this one and it takes water makeup remover off make waterproof mascara off as if it's regular so like there's honestly no point in getting the more expensive one ah i love mascara and then my last step is gonna honestly be pointless because there's like no product left in here but it's my Glossier Boy Brow. You literally can't even see it's like rubbed off in blonde. I'm going fake blonde. I just use it as like a gel. Although again, like you really gotta mix it in there because there's nothing left in here. And I just put it through my brows. They stay put. This is all I ever do to my brows because I'm too scared to touch them. And I'm gonna do some lipstick. My favorite lipstick ever is this one by MAC. It's in the shade Blankety. And it's like kind of on the pale side, but I think it's gonna look good with the tan skin that's fake that I did yesterday. So, just gonna do a little bit. I always put on the bottom and just rub it on the top so it's not too intense. But yeah, I think it's so pretty. And I'm trying to keep complaining. And that's the final look. So this is my final look for the Nikki Beach Party. Um, these shoes are from Sam Edelman, Band-Aid from CVS. Um, the sarong is from my mother's closet. The shirt is from Princess Polly and my bikini is from Triangle. So, let's get going.